Let's start with a question. How many of you own a high-end medical diagnostic device? <laughs> well, that's not surprising. Those devices are bulky, expensive, and require trained professionals. Here I am getting a cataract test, a device that really hasn't changed for several decades. And here I'm getting a retinal exam, but check out the user interface. <laughs> it's a quarter million dollar device, but the nurse is shoving my head <laughs> into the eyepiece. And here, for eyeglasses. Now, these solutions are fine in the developed world, but in developing countries, millions of people are suffering because of lack of diagnostic solutions for problems that actually have, you know, great solutions, easy solutions. So we have a new solution called Netra. And Netra is a clip-on eyepiece that goes on top of a cell phone. It costs only a dollar. You would look through it, interactively align the patterns that are being shown on the screen using the keyboard, hit calculate, and it will give you the data for prescription of your eyeglasses. It can measure nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism. And Netra stands for I in Sanskrit, and very conveniently, also a near eye tool for refractive assessment. <laughs> Now, you know, more than 2 billion people have a refractive error. We have a pretty good representation here. But unfortunately, more than half a billion people worldwide need glasses but don't have them. And it's not just about a problem of blurry vision, but blurry vision means lack of education, which leads to illiteracy, lack of employment, which leads to unemployment, and, of course, that leads to poverty. But people do have mobile phones. In fact, there are more mobile phones than toothbrushes. So the next project should be about a toothbrush <laughs> on a mobile phone. So in developing countries, I think we have an opportunity to solve this problem in a different way. Now, to provide eyeglasses, there are two pieces to the puzzle. There's diagnostics and there's dispensing of glasses. And you may have heard of clever solutions for creating glasses, but what's been happening over time is that the cost of providing eyeglasses has come down dramatically. And as you can see, this person uh, in the bottom right uh, 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 selling eyeglasses in Mumbai for under $3. And still everybody in the pipeline, in the chain, makes money. Now, on the diagnostic side, surprisingly, there's no easy solution. And we still require equipment and trained professionals uh, for that. So let's think about a really high-end equipment for doing an eye test. And this is called a shock Hartman wavefront sensor. And this is what you would use before a LASIK surgery to get a refraction map. And it shines light into the eye and measures the wavefront of the light that's coming out. Now, I love this stuff, right? I mean, at my lab, in the, at MIT Media Lab, you know, we build crazy cameras and displays. And we're inventing you know, some really interesting things. We're building a camera that can look around corners beyond line of sight. It's like a million dollar camera. Uh, we're building CAT scan machines that are portable. We are building glasses-free 3D displays. But you know, every once in a while, I can boil down all the mathematics and optics and theory down to something really simple and straightforward that just costs a dollar. And Netra actually goes in the opposite direction of this shock Hartman wavefront sensor. It's the inverse of that. Instead of shining lasers into the eye, we're going to ask you to look into the cell phone. And the task, basically, is the, the Netra eyepiece is a series of lens lights. This eyepiece here, uh, very cheap. We can make it for just a dollar or so. And when you look through it, there'll be some patterns, and your goal is to align the spots on the LCD. And as you can see on the bottom right, when all the spots are aligned, into a single dot, you stop. And the number of clicks it takes you to do alignment in every different direction gives us your spherical and cylindrical power. Now, 
what's going on? Why are we able to use LCDs? This was not possible even two or three years ago. What's been happening over time is cell phone makers are increasing the resolution of the mobile phone displays. And why is that? Because all of us want to watch our favorite episodes of Lost and Desperate Housewives <laughs> in HD. Just think about that. The pixel pitch at 300 plus DPI is down to 25 micrometers. And when they call it a retina display, they didn't realize we'll actually use it to look at the eye. At that resolution, at 25 micrometer, we can actually convert the cell phone into a scientific instrument. So please go and watch more HD content and play more video games because then others can exploit that to provide diagnostic care in remote parts of the world. So because it's portable and easy to use and doesn't require expertise, we have received a tremendous response for Netra. And I'm happy to tell you that we're in more than a dozen countries and we have great collaborators who are NGOs. Uh, we are working with eye clinics, eyeglasses providers, and also doing several IRB approved trials. And as a professor, of course, I get great pleasure to see that my students are writing prestigious academic papers in the geekiest of journals. <laughs> so, you know, with, with, uh, with Netra, uh, you know, in a way we can provide children a shot at a decent education that they would ha wouldn't have if they had a blurry vision. And we can think of Netra as a thermometer for an eye because you can check the eye set more frequently over time. Uh, we can, for a day laborer, uh, for day labor, it's important for employment to make sure the vision is, uh, is able to function for the tasks. But, you know, often all you really want to do is watch Rinaldino kick that soccer goal and watch it beautifully on your TV. So I think we're entering in a new era here. We all know what software app store. We're entering an era of a hardware app store where you would have a dollar or two clip-on that are created by developers and that are available to us as a new innovation in economy. And within that, we're excited about this notion of mobile mates for health. And the mobile mates go well beyond just peripherals that you would attach. You may have seen ultrasound scanners and other health devices that are connected to the phone, but there you're using the phone mostly as a computer or communication device. And here we're really exploiting the phone as a scientific instrument because phone makers are cramming all kinds of beautiful input and output components into small form factors. Well, where else can mobile mates go? Cataracts, which are cloudiness in your lens. Our NGO partners told us, but that's the leading cause of blindness. There's a solution for that as well, called Catra. And I encourage you to come during the break and look at the solution we have built for Cataract. And Catra is like a radar for the cloud cover inside your lens. By scanning it, we can figure out the position of the cloudiness. So refraction, cataract, mobile mates for health, if I give you the right mobile phone mate for you, how many of you will have a high-end scientific instrument? Now that's not surprising. Thank you. <laughs>